Well, greetings, viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk. Uh, those of you who've been subscribed to me for a while now might remember last August, I posted a video called This Is What Being Stood Up Looks Like. I wasn't in the video in camera anyway. Um, it was a video of my roommate at the time, Emmy, uh, who had just been stood up four times in a row by blokes that she met on Match.com. And she came home from being stood up the fourth time and she started ranting at me for like 10 minutes and then five minutes into it I picked up my camera and started filming her. It's a very funny video. I will link it in the description box below if you're interested and haven't already seen it. Um, but I was curious, you know, why, why would someone like Emmy get stood up four times in a row? She's vivacious. Uh, she doesn't have any kids. She's beautiful. Uh, she's intelligent. She's sexy. She's got it going on, man. And I just couldn't understand why someone like her would get stood up. Well, uh, the, the good news is that Emmy has met herself a, a very nice fella through Match.com back in October, and they've been seeing each other ever since, and uh, now they're engaged to be married. And she has insisted to me that uh, online dating is the way forward. Also, the guys I work with uh, have been giving me a lot of grief lately about the fact that uh, I need to meet some women around here because um, I don't really know any. Uh, my own age anyway. You know, all my acquaintances hereabouts are people that I already knew from Cornwall who moved to London. Um, I haven't really, as of yet, sort of established a circle of friends here uh, of people I can sort of go out with and talk to and so forth. And I think my colleagues are probably right and Emmy's probably right. You know, it's a good idea for me to, to meet people, uh, whether I'm dating them or not, just to, to, to sort of develop myself a a social circle here so I don't feel too isolated and alone. Fine. But now that I've been, I, I, I signed on to Plenty of Fish because Plenty of Fish is free. You don't have to pay a fee. And uh, the thing is, now that I've had two and a half weeks of experience of uh, being on the site and seeing how these dating sites work, I can totally understand why Emmy got stood up four times in a row. Because what happens is, I mean, whether you are naturally inclined to be a juggler or not, when you're on an online dating site, you end up juggling. It's inevitable. I think it's the same for women and men in terms of juggling, but I think there's different reasons for it. For example, I, I tend to get the impression uh, from what I've read on people's profiles that if you're a woman on a dating site, you have to contend with a lot of messages from random guys. And some of them are going to be very simple uh, and vacuous messages like, Hey there, smiley face. You know. And then some will be straight out propositions, you know. Wow, sexy legs. I wonder if you want to get together for a quickie or something like that. Um, and so you get a lot of requests. People in their profiles will say, are looking for a genuine guy, genuine guy, genuine guy. And, and so fine. So, you know, I make an effort when I message people to try to stand out amongst the crowd. I want to have something to say. I want to have something to say about myself. I want to have something to say about why I'm contacting them in the first place. You know, what, what about them appeal to me in the first place, that kind of thing. Hoping that I get, you know, some responses. But what ends up happening is you will get responses eventually. You ha you, you, the success rate is probably one out of five that people that I contact will, will reply. And out of those, that 20% who actually replies, only 20% of those are people who, uh, you know, are replying in the, in, in the affirmative and, and, and seem like you might want to strike up some. But what happens when it's more than 20%, see? You end, up, you end up chatting up a whole bunch of birds that you don't necessarily know and you don't know whether you want to date or not. This is why people get stood up, see? It turns you into a juggler. And I don't want to be a juggler. I've never been a juggler in my, in my offline life when it comes to dealing with women. And I certainly don't want to juggle women online either. So is that just the nature of online dating? Is it this way for both men and women? Do you just have to keep people on the back burner the whole time uh, while you sort of favor? Uh, how does it work? I mean, have you guys tried online dating? What the fuck, man? I'm utterly vexed. I don't know if I'm doing it right, and I don't really know um, uh, whether I even want to do it. But I do know that uh, you know, getting some companionship uh, of my own generation is certainly a good idea. Um, whether that's romantic companionship or not, I don't know. But uh, if you've tried online dating, uh, either with or without success, I would be very interested to hear your story, so feel free to leave me a lengthy comment in the comment section below, or a video response would be more than welcome. 
and uh, I will definitely watch it. I want to thank you for indulging me with this video, and until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.